Hello traders, I want to sell Adobe stock at 14237. Uh, this is uh, a limit order and that limit order is not yet filled. It will be filled when the price pull back to the level of 14237. The title of the video is uh, a daring scalper shows his scalping uh, trading uh, method. All right, so this is it. So my intention is to sell uh, the Adobe stock at one four two three seven, and when that limit order is filled, I will be using a fifteen pip one five one fifteen pips. Uh, a stop loss my order is now filled as you can see okay just pop below and that order is now filled and i will be using okay 15 uh, pips all right 15 pips my friend no more no less okay that's it that's my uh, stop loss right there good I want to remind traders that the video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell Adobe a System Incorporation. All right. Talking about daring, a daring scalper shows his scalping trading method. We want to discuss okay the best approach when one is scalping. As I was telling traders in other videos that I've already recorded. The first thing that we want to check, we must have a good uh, reason why we want to scalp trade on the lower time frame. So you can see now that I'm on a three minute time frame and you may be wondering, George, tell us your good reason why you want to sell Adobe stock. Okay. Going to go quickly to the monthly chart. So you can see that uh, Adobe stock uh, right here was bullish before. So there was a consolidation this session. And then we see this uh, bullish move up. I measure the height, not the length, the height from the beginning of the move to the top. That's the height of that price move. After that bullish move, we have this uh, triangle here. Call it that triangle now into red so everybody can see it. So the triangle is about a consolidation one more time. So there was a consolidation before. Then we have this uh, bullish momentum. Now we have another triangle, which is a type of consolidation. Now the price is going up one more time. But you have to understand that by using the height of this uh, prior bullish move, the professional swing traders, position trader, will set their target here at one uh, I'll show you now in a minute. But that's the way the price is now at a target level. Okay, so that is my good reason. So imagine that you were here and you bought Adobe stock for swing trading and position purposes, and you set your target here. What will you be thinking to do when the price is at a target level? So you were bullish before, now the price is at a target level. As a swing trader, as a position trader, you will be preparing yourself to secure your gain. If you have many positions that were open, you may close some of them, which means you'll be taking some of the profit. If you have only one position open and you do not believe that Adobe will go up more, you will close that position. Or if you are satisfied with your trade, you are happy swing trader, a happy position trader, the price now at the target level, you are very disciplined, you will close that trade and walk away and come back another day looking for another opportunity. So as a scalper, we do care about the short-term momentum. So the swing traders and the position traders, even the day traders, provide the scalpers with excellent okay uh, a short-term momentum all right so this is my good reason why i go to the three minute time frame looking for weaknesses to sell adobe stock as you can see my order is filled here at one four two three seven 
and I'm now in this trade and I'm using 15 pips. So first thing, have a good reason why you want to scalp trade. Those good reason, maybe on a weekly chart, daily chart, two hour time frame, four hour time frame, even a yearly chart, before you switch to the three minute time frame, one minute time frame, five minute time frame, 15 minute time frame for a scalping. Okay? Without that good reason, I won't have gone to the three minute time frame. But the mistake, the scalping trading mistake that a lot of scalpers are making is that they go to the three minute, to the five minute, and they are playing with the stochastic, with MACD, with the RSI, with the technical indicator, and they do not have a good reason. Okay? The next thing that we want to make sure that we are doing, okay, so in fact, I am violating that rule now because it took some time before I see that I should enter the trade. So you see the price gap up first, consolidation, consolidation. All right, so this is the first. You remember what I said to you before? First time, it found a resistance here. Second time, it found a resistance here. And I always say to traders that have been following us that the third time is mine. All right. So for the third time, people tr are trying to sell it here at one, uh, in a zone of 14237. So I'm not the first person to sell, all right? I'm a very patient and I, I sold it at 14237 like those who sold it here. So there were others here to sell. In fact, what has happened today, the price, so as I was showing you on the monthly chart, the target is here, 14171, that's the target. So order has been piled in this zone, probably to sell, and the price gap up today to fill those orders. If they are sellers, the price will struggle to go above my stop loss. If they are buyers, the price will continue to go up. So now that I see a consolidation taking place here, the top of our consolidation here, it looks to me that this gap up it is to fill the orders to sell because the small money they, they, they play with the market carefully because they know they stop the, the target is here some trader would place order 10 pip 5 pip above the target level to sell because they know that those position traders swing traders will be willing to take profit here and if they first a bit of a challenge they will quickly close their trade and take their profit and run away all right, so there's a bit of a hide and seek game happening here, but the winners are those who place their order to sell far away and their order has been filled. Now the price is coming down. So as a scrapler, as I was telling you now, I'm violating one of the rules is that the best time for scalping, scalping is the first two hours when London is open, New York is open, or Hong Kong is open, those three market, the first two hours, right? This is the best time for scalping. But during that uh, uh, first two hours, right? The professional scalpers will also wait for the first 30 minute candlestick bar to close. So the market is open at 2.30 p.m. London time, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, all right? They will watch on a 30-minute time frame, and they will wait for the first 30-minute candlestick bar to close before they will place their scalping trade. This is about the protocol of scalping, all right? Or the best approach for scalping, okay? First two hours, but they wait for the first 30 minutes candlestick bar to close before they place the trade. So if you are trading a New York session, you will start placing your scalping trade if you have a good reason at 10 a.m. Eastern time, that's 3 p.m. London time. Protocol of scalping trade. All right? So have a good reason. Trade the first two hours when uh, New York, London, or Hong Kong is open. Okay, and then wait for the first 30 minute candlestick bar to close. The next thing that you need to watch out for is that you want to make sure that you are trading a liquid uh, financial instrument. Now, this has nothing to do with water or any liquid or any substance liquid. We are talking about money. 
liquid financial instrument are not illiquid. So the opposite of liquid is illiquid. So when we say a financial instrument is illiquid, it means that there is no money flow as such to sustain okay, a proper a price move. So there are only few people interested in that financial instrument and it's not moving very far. So as a scalpel, it's a risk for us to trade any type of a financial instrument. We want to make sure that we are trading financial instruments that are liquid. So you may say to me, George, I'm a new trader. Uh, give me one example of uh, okay, liquid financial instrument. Very good. The liquid financial instrument are blue chip stock. Blue chips. What do I mean by blue chips? All right. Blue chips are stock that belongs to the FTSE 100, all right? The NAXA 100, the Dow 30, all right? Uh, which one else? Okay. The major stock indices, because the hedge fund, the mutual fund, are pumping money constantly into those indices. So you want a financial instrument that is moving fast. So if you are trading currencies, you'll be trading the euro dollar, or you'll be trading uh, the pound dollar, you will be trading the Australian dollar, US dollar, you'll be trading currency that are moving fast. If you are trading uh, commodity, definitely gold is moving fast, silver is moving fast, and those liquid financial instruments are very, very good, okay? For so you can see now I entered the train at a one four two three seven. The price is now already at a one four two. All right, one three. How much is that? Twenty four pips for fifteen pips. I'm already twenty four pips. I can close this train and run away laughing. Ha 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 ha. All right, for some scalpers. They are looking only for five pips. Even some of them are looking for three pips. So they may say, George, are you out of your mind? Why don't you just take your profit and run away? I can do that, okay? I can do that. But this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It's a discussion that is showing traders the best approach for scalping and how to avoid scalping trading mistakes. All right? So make sure that the financial instrument that you want to scalp trade is liquid. The next thing that you want to check is the volatility of the financial instrument that you are trading. All right. So for traders that are trading, for instance, uh, currencies, uh, the British pound, Swiss franc currency pair, which I like to call the beast. It runs so fast, all right? So the volatility is quite wild, so to speak, because the beast belonging to the wild life, currencies or stock or financial instruments that are going very, 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 very fast, all right? <laughs> okay? You do not, you, you want to check the volatility because as a scalpeler, you want to use a tiny stop loss. Your intention is to gather, so to speak, or amass, am I speaking my American accent now? <laughs> amass or gather or harvest tiny and quick profit consistently. All right? So for those reasons, you want to use a tiny stop loss, 15 pips, and trade a George, are you out of mind? 15 pips for, for scalping? You can go to the 10 second time frame, George, and use a 5 pip stop loss. Where did you learn to scalp trade? Yes, traders do use do scalp trade on a 10 second time frame, <laughs> on a 30 second time frame, on a one minute time frame. I don't like to trade below the one minute time frame. Personally, this is about my trading style. But some scalpers do that. And they will use five pips, seven pips. But the point I'm making here, I'm talking about your, the risk that you are willing to take as a scalpeler. You want to make sure that the risk is very, very low. So, for stock like Google stock or Apple stock or 
commodity like gold and silver, or currency like, uh, all right, even uh, uh, the dollar Swiss franc or the pound Swiss franc, they move very fast. So as a scrap lamp, you, you need to give room for the price to wiggle a little bit before you get paid. So you want to check the volatility of the financial instrument that you are trading. Otherwise, you may go around, you may be complete, completely right, you may have a good reason, you may trade during the first two hours, you may do everything right, but if you forget the volatility and then you use a 10 pip, all right, they kick you out, stock, move a bit, 10 pip, you are out, okay? You say, all right, check everything. This is exactly what just said. Pim, you done it again second time, 10 pip, you shake yourself, you say that's 20 pip I've lost so far, and then again 10 pip, but, and then again another 10 pip, by the time you know, you already given away 40 pip, but you are scapula, that's not good, but the mistake that you are just making, you could have used straight away at the beginning, 20 pip for that scalp trade because of the volatility of the financial instrument, and you will still be in that trade now, instead of four times, you didn't take into consideration, all right, the volatility of the, uh, the financial instrument that you are using, okay? Another thing as a scrapler you need to pay attention to is that never use market order. Always use limit order to enter the trading. So the market order will be like here, the price now 142 to 2, I'll just come and sell straight away. That's selling at the market price, or the price is now at uh, 14202, and I just buy. It's like buying at the market price. The best approach is to use a limit order to buy or to sell as a scalpel. So, for instance, as you see at the beginning here, the price, hold on, please, the price was here, this candle here, and I place my order here to sell below that candle, the opening price, that candle see bar. So, somebody. You see this. You see somebody starts selling here. You see the, the shadow on top here, and those people continue to sell it and they push it down into my order. So, so as always, I'm not the the first person to sell. In fact, people sold in the same zone. People sold in the same zone, and here again, I was very patient to sell. But talking about a daring, a daring D A R. ING, a courageous scapula. So there's nothing, okay, uh, how should I put it to you, worthy about being a courageous trader, courageous scapula. The courage to be courageous scapula doesn't make any sense. So the reason why I'm using this title, the daring scapula show his scalping trading mistake, is that most scapulas are very courageous. Stochastic oversold, people are buying each time. They are very courageous. They have no good reason. They do not pay attention to the time of the day. And they do not use a limit order. Stochastic oversold, they buy. Stochastic overbought, they sell. RSI overbought, they sell. RSI oversold, they buy. They work on the setting of their technical indicator. They call them proprietary technical indicators. And they say it's working. If it is working, stick to it. All right, very important. If it's working, then good. All right. But people can polish that method of scalping over sold over board. We can polish it. All right, and design a kind of a robot buy sell buy sell. Okay, with the stochastic. But we need to polish it, polish it more, 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 more before we can do that. Which means we will be able to filter out the force oversold and overbought, and we can play with that. But most scalpers goes to the most go to the five minutes, three minutes, or fifteen minutes, one minute, and they are playing with the stochastic without any good reason. Do not do that. Use limit order or use market order. All right. And the next thing you want to make sure that you are doing as uh, the best practice for scalping instead of being a courageous or a daring scalpel, is uh, never to move your stop loss. So now you see I'm using 15 pip here. All right. I will not move my stop loss. They kick me out. I'll just blink, 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 blink. All right. And then wait for the next chance. So sometimes 
this is honest truth, all right? A scapula may lose twice. So you check everything, you have a good reason. You are training the first two hours, the first 30 minute candidate skip by scroll, you are using limit order, you are not prepared to move your stop loss, you are trading liquid financial instrument, you check the volatility, you say yes, I'm up for it. Bring it on, all right? Enter the trade, first candidate skip bar, push you, kick you out. All right? So you remember that you should blink, blink, blink. Well, you did that. You, you, inter, you look at your, the good reason. You, so you recheck, you say, all right, maybe my reason was not good enough. So you look again on your monthly chart. So everything adding up, you say, yes. There should be some activity, people selling this zone. Why, why we not see any move down? You come back again, you sell. You stick to the same stop loss. This is another discipline. You are not moving your stop loss. So for Adobe, personally, I will use 15 pips for scalping each time. And I will not change it. So second time again you enter, well, it's not smiling. They kick you out again. They stick that finger for you. You say, well, usually, I shouldn't be trading today because it's not my best day. But those things do happen when one is scalping. So you can be taken out twice out of the trade. My <laughs> rule is this. If I'm scalping trade a financial instrument, okay, and I've done my homework, and they kick me out three times in a row, I'm going away from that financial instrument for that day. I may come back another day and uh, take my vengeance. But on that day, if they kick me out three times in a row, not, uh, not in the... In, uh, subsequently, that's what I mean. So you enter, they kick you out. The second trade, they kick you out. The third time, they kick you out. I'm away. I'm not trading anymore for that day. Who look for another financial instrument. That's what I'll do myself. But if you enter, they kick you out. You enter second time. It was profitable. Then you enter again. They kick you out. The third time is profitable. And then they kick you out again. That's not bad, okay? Because it's balancing. But if they kick you out three times in a row as a scalper, you may now start to... So now my traders, price now, I'm going to take my first profit. It's now 30 pips. So price now 14207. This is a successful scalping train risking 15 pips. 30 people. This trade is now closed, has been successful, has been less successful. But remember what I said to you at the beginning of this video, that I violate one rule. Did you notice that? The time that I was entering the train, all right, we already passed that first two hours. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. Sometime, if you are breaking the rule, all right, just sit on the edge, place your finger on your mouse and be ready to please close if things are not working as you expect it. So I break the rule here. I trade outside the first two hours, but I get paid. I got 30 pips. I was risking, risking 15 pips. I'm happy with my trade. It may continue to go down, but for the scalping purposes, this is a good news. The price is now below the moving average 14. If we see another bounce nicely like this, and they start rolling it down, I may attempt to take the second trade. But so far, so good. The price may continue, okay, to go down all the way to 14171, which is the initial target. But where we are now, I will close uh, this trade. All right? So I will be recording uh, more scalping uh, video. All right? But remember that I will be banging on, on the correct steps. Trade a mistake when they are, we are, they are uh, scalping. Have a good reason. Trade the first two hours. Wait for the first 30 minute candidate bar to close. Use limit order. Never move your stop loss. Use the same stop loss for each financial instrument. Trade liquid financial instrument, especially the blue chips that belong to the major stock indices like FTSE 100, NASDAQ 100, okay, Dow 30, 
okay, and so on, and so on, Nikkei 225, and so on, all right? Check the volatility of uh, the financial instrument that you are trading, so you may determine the appropriate stop loss that you must use. All right? If you think that this video has been useful to you, honestly, all right? Let us know by giving us the terms out, then I say, all right, people, okay, find it useful. So we continue recording more videos about scalping. If you think that, George, I love you very much, but George, you are a crazy scalper. This is a useless video. All right, let us know <laughs> by giving us the terms down. Then I know that, okay, I need to improve on my next recording. All right. If you think that this is an essential or amazing tutorial that will be useful to other scalpers out there, please help us by sharing it on Google+, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. This is the end of this tutorial. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about a daring scalper show his scalping a trading method. There is nothing okay worthy of being a courageous or daring scalper. One should follow the correct step to improve okay the scalping. Happy trading to you all and uh, speak to you uh, soon. The financial instrument that we were trading today is an American stock, Adobe System Incorporation, Epic ADBE, belonging to the technology sector. If you want to know more about Adobe System Incorporation stock, go to www.googlefinance.com. Speak to you soon.